Good morning, guys. Good morning. And I am so glad that you are here with me on today. Well, listen, I just wanted to reach out here today on Tuesday, okay? Um, and I just wanted to, you know, we had talked about a Tuesday word of the day. I think that's what we had talked about. And, um, you know, I was thinking about what could we ponder on that could really get us to Wednesday, you know, because sometimes just depending on what we're going through each day has enough trouble of his own. And now I fully understand what Jesus was talking about when he was like, don't worry about tomorrow because it's not even promised. Yesterday is gone. You will never see it to, again. But in each day, every day has a, a, a worry of its own. Just each day. Every day has a worry of its own. But he says to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all things will be added unto you. So my thought of the day is seeking ye first the kingdom of God. Seeking ye first the kingdom of God when I wake up. I have seeking the kingdom of God on my mind. When I get frustrated, I have seeking the kingdom of God calming me down. When I'm confused, I have seeking ye first the kingdom of God to give me clarity. When I'm feeling low inside of my soul, I have seeking ye first the kingdom of God that gives me hope and joy and a bright future. See, when I'm seeking the kingdom of God, I can hear many of you saying, well, what does that look like to seek the kingdom of God? Seeking the kingdom of God, it starts by doing God's way of doing things. Well, I can hear some of you saying that I don't know God's way of doing things. Like, I mean, that's just a generalization, Shonda. How can I, first of all, I hear you saying the thought of the day should be seeking first the kingdom of God. And I hear you saying to seek God's way of doing things, but that's still not clear to me. If you ever are confused about the kingdom of God, then I will pray that you open up your Bibles to Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and begin to read the study of Jesus that's God manifested in the flesh. See, God gave us Jesus because he was the kingdom of God. So when we seek it, if we can't find it, we can turn the pages and read about him and that's the kingdom of God in motion. See, some people say that Jesus is the savior and yeah, that's true, but I feel because I seek the kingdom of God and he's given me so much clarity and understanding through Christ's consciousness, I feel that God gave himself an expression through Jesus and he made Jesus in action, which means that Jesus is a verb. He gives you clarity. He gives you an understanding of scriptures. He shows you what servanthood looks like. He gives you example after example after example about what the kingdom principles are, what the fundamentals of God is, what the fundamentals of prayer is, what the equation to breaking strongholds in your life is. The, the, uh, he gives you all of that. The fundamentals of prayer is just releasing anything out inside of you that's unlike God so that you can be pure enough to get into the presence of God through him to get your breakthrough. What is the formula that you can work so that you can break strongholds off of your life? It's funny that you would ask that question because in seeking the kingdom of God, what Jesus revealed to me is getting away from people sometime, getting in a quiet space sometime, being in the salad season sometimes, fasting to break your flesh sometimes, praying to stay connected all the time, meditating to change the way the mind works so it can be attuned to the frequency of heaven all the time. God showed me fasting and prayer and meditation, seeking the kingdom of God in everything that you're doing. Does it reflect joy? Does it reflect peace? Does it reflect love? Does it reflect being selfless? Does it reflect just pure abundance and wealth and success? And does it reflect just the good health? Does it reflect just being awestruck in the presence of God? Does it reflect peace? 
Or does what you're doing reflect hatred? Does it reflect jealousy? Does it reflect lust? Does it reflect less of, lack of self-control? What are you reflecting? Does it reflect worry? Poverty? What are you reflecting? And if it opposes light, then you need to seek that light. You need to seek the kingdom. You need to study Jesus, how he walked, how he talked, how he moved, how he dealt with opposition, even to the cross, how he was able to say they didn't know what they were doing because his mind was on another whole grid of frequency. So as you go about your day today on this Tuesday, my thought for you on today is simple. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in everything that you do. Seek that. And what you will find is everlasting life, joy, peace, deliverance, long suffering, patience, anointing, power, Jesus, knowledge, wealth, success, purity. I can go on and on. Seek that. That's the kingdom of God. It's that. See the beauty in everything. It's that. They give you a stone, baby, get a sermon. That's the kingdom. That's what we're here to do in the earth. That's what we're here to do. We're here to unravel lies and we're here to plant kingdom seeds and other chosen ones in this earth. So as you go about your day on this day, seek the kingdom of God. And until the next video, guys, peace, because I believe that you can. Bye now.